investors who hold NVIDIA stock might benefit from adding its main competitor to their portfolios. NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, believes that data center operators will invest $1 trillion over the next five years to upgrade their infrastructure in response to growing demand from artificial intelligence, or AI, developers. A portion of that investment will go towards purchasing graphics processing units, known as GPUs, which are the ideal chips for AI training and AI inference. NVIDIA is currently the leading supplier of GPUs for data centers, and its stock has surged by 173% in 2024 due to strong sales growth. However, competition is increasing. Advanced Micro Devices, or AMD, has launched its own GPUs, which have already attracted some of NVIDIA's largest customers. The Wall Street Journal reports that 56 analysts cover AMD stock, and a vast majority of them have given it the highest buy rating. Additionally, not a single analyst recommends selling AMD stock. Here's why AMD might be a smart investment right now, especially for those who already own Nvidia shares. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. AMD's AI opportunity goes beyond the data center. NVIDIA's flagship H100 data center GPU went into production in September 2022, and it helped the company capture an estimated 98% market share in 2023, as there was practically no competition. That was until AMD launched the MI300X GPU in December, and despite being over a year behind, uptake has been very promising in 2024. The MI300X is now used by many of NVIDIA's top customers, including Microsoft, Oracle, and Meta platforms. According to AMD, many of them are yielding better performance and a lower cost of ownership by using the MI300X compared to the H100, which is a positive sign in the company's quest to take market share from NVIDIA. AMD will start shipping its new MI325X to customers this quarter, which delivers up to 20% better AI inference performance than NVIDIA's H200, which superseded the H100 earlier this year. Since AI developers often rent computing capacity from data center operators on a per-minute basis, any improvement in speed can result in substantial cost savings. AMD's AI-related revenue soared during Q3. AMD recently announced its financial results for the third quarter of 2024, which ended on September 28th. The company reported a record $6.8 billion in total revenue, marking an 18% increase compared to the same period last year. However, the most impressive part of this growth came from the company's performance in AI. AMD's data center revenue saw a massive 122% increase year over year, reaching $3.5 billion, a new record. This growth was driven largely by strong GPU sales. Earlier in 2024, AMD's CEO, Lisa Su, told investors that the company expected to generate $2 billion in data center GPU revenue for the entire year. But that forecast has now been revised, with AMD set to exceed $5 billion in data center GPU revenue. In AMD's client segment, which includes the Ryzen AI series of chips, revenue grew by 29% to $1.9 billion. Lisa Su believes the AI PC market is still in its early stages, which means investors can expect significant growth in this segment in the coming years. On the downside, AMD faced challenges in its gaming segment. Revenue dropped by 69% as demand for gaming consoles, such as Sony's PlayStation 5 and Microsoft's Xbox, slowed down. Additionally, many desktop PC gamers are holding off on purchasing new hardware, awaiting AMD's next-generation GPUs, which are expected to be released in 2025. Wall Street is very bullish on AMD stock. AMD has reported $3 in non-GAAP adjusted earnings per share over the last four quarters. 
With its current stock price at 148.60, the company has a price to earnings PE ratio of 49.5. This makes AMD slightly more affordable compared to Nvidia, which trades at a PE ratio of 63.1. Looking ahead, Wall Street analysts, according to Yahoo Finance, predict AMD will earn 5 twentali per share in 2025. This would place its forward PE ratio at just 28.6. Since the stock market is forward-looking, this could explain why analysts are so optimistic about AMD's prospects. Out of the 56 analysts followed by the Wall Street Journal, 39 have given AMD stock the highest possible buy rating. Eight analysts are in the overweight, bullish category, while nine recommend holding. Earlier I mentioned Jensen Huang's forecast that data center operators will spend $1 trillion on AI infrastructure over the next five years. AMD believes the chip market alone will reach 500 billion by 2028, with a remarkable 60% growth per year between now and then. While Nvidia is currently leading in capturing most of that value, AMD's recent growth in data center GPU sales and its strong innovation pipeline, which includes the upcoming MI350, suggests that the company could become a serious competitor in the coming years. NVIDIA's market share is likely to decrease over time as competition intensifies. For investors who already hold NVIDIA stock, buying AMD could serve as a great hedge. Additionally, AMD might also be an excellent long-term investment for those entering the AI chip market for the first time. Give us a like if you like our video. Subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.